sorry I'm late. <gasps> Otto? <laughs> Were you trying to teach me a lesson about being late? <laughs> yes, well, you're right. I shouldn't have been late, but I'm here now. <laughs> Welcome to Otto's Tales, story time brought to you by Prep. Prager used resources for educators and parents. I'm Jill, and today I'm going to share an old legend from England about a king who, well, learned another kind of great big lesson. It's called King Alfred and the Cakes. Once upon a time, many years ago, there was a powerful king named Alfred. He was wise. He was strong. He was one of the best kings England ever had. But there was trouble in King Alfred's kingdom. The land was invaded by another army from across the sea. They fought and they fought and they fought. King Alfred didn't want to lose his kingdom, but his army struggled, was broken apart, and scattered across the land, unable to defeat their enemy. Because they lost, King Alfred had to escape and disguise himself as a shepherd so no one would find him and he could hide. He wandered through woods and swamps. Soon, he came upon a hut that belonged to a woodcutter and his wife. Tired and very hungry, King Alfred knocked on the door. He asked for something to eat. The woodcutter's wife said, come in, and had no idea who he was. She told him, I'll give you something to eat if you will watch these cakes I'm baking on my stove. Watch them carefully and don't let them burn, she said. The king agreed and the woodcutter's wife left. King Alfred tried to pay attention to the cakes, but he allowed his mind to daydream. He thought about his army. He thought about his people. He wondered if he'd ever get back home to his land. King Alfred concentrated on his problems and forgot all about the cakes. Well, when the woodcutter's wife <gasps> came back, the hut was filled with smoke and her cakes were burned to a crisp. King Alfred didn't even notice. You lazy person, she yelled at King Alfred. Look what you've done. You wanted something to eat, but you didn't do what you said you'd do. And now none of us will have any supper. King Alfred was embarrassed and ashamed. Just then, the woodcutter came home, saw his wife yelling at King Alfred, and recognized that he really was the king. Stop yelling, the woodcutter told his wife. This is our king. Now the wife was embarrassed and ashamed. She apologized. Don't apologize, the king told her. You were right to be upset. You gave me a job, I accepted, and then I didn't do the job I promised you I would do. I was not responsible, and anyone who accepts a responsibility, big or small, should do it faithfully and excellently, even if they are a king. The king thanked them for their hospitality and then left. Soon after, he found his army again and won his kingdom back. The end. We love this tale because it reminds us that no matter how small a job may seem, it is our duty to do that job well because attention to little duties often prepares us to meet larger ones in the future. Doing a small job well means that you'll be ready for a bigger, more important job later. Leadership and responsibility go together. And in America, taking responsibility for our actions is a value we believe in, and that helps everybody. Now, are you responsible, Otto? <gasps> yes, you are. <laughs> Thank you for watching Otto's Tales. Check out some of our other stories too. Keep reading, keep watching, and keep being responsible. Bye. Yay. We're so glad you joined us for today's reading. Storytime is made possible through the generous support of donors like you. You can help keep the stories coming by going to PragerU.com slash donate today.